What's going on everybody, it's Josh making the start to this video inside of a Walmart because this is a little spur of the moment hunt. Uh, I have not hunted all week, therefore I have zero footage for you guys. So thankfully Karina and Parker have agreed to come on this hunt. So we are trying to find, this is a kind of a newer Walmart for us. Um, so we're trying to find everything, but enough of looking at my face because you see toys, so let's look at those. And right off the bat, we have some Thorwave, a bunch of Guardians. Looks like, no, well, a bunch of Novas. Adam Morlock. Then we have Nebula, Punisher, and Nova. Electra, Blade, Electra, Punisher. Then more Netflix. Yeah. Here we have Loki and Loki. There's a Gamora. Spidey pack's not on sale here. Here we have some Voltron stuff. I don't know if any of the pilots. Nope, no pilots. Not too sure what, what I'm looking at, but there's that for you. And as far as Power Rangers, looks like white and yellow. That's all they have is white and yellow. Okay. And here we have some wrestling. I still enjoy this figure. <laughs> I need to get some WCW figures though. Shawn Michaels. Uh, still not familiar and will not be familiar with any of the newer guys. Multiverse wise, Jim Gordon, Joker, and Dark Knight Rise stuff. Uh, BVS Batman, that's old. Lex Luthor. Yeah. A lot of BVS. Wow. And more beer. Okay. Any good pops? Karina looked through the pops. She says nothing good. I am on the hunt for the Walmart It Pop. That would be awesome. Of course, any chases that we happen to come across, if we if we do, highly doubtful. Then we have some Alien Covenant pops. The Xenomorph's pretty cool. Any good Star Wars stuff? Any new? This is new. Rose, Aqua, Rose, Rose, Cassian, Cassian. And Jin and Finn. And all of these are Rogue One, so nothing new here. So absolutely nothing in that Walmart. Michael Taylor, I messaged you about that uh, Valkyrie. I think her name's Valkyrie, so I'm sorry. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of time in there, so I had to pass it up. So hopefully you didn't need that one, because um, if you do, I'm going to feel bad. But anyways, I think we're going to go try to find a Walgreens. I know there's a GameStop nearby. But I'm not gonna record in there because they're just, they're no bueno in that one. So I don't know where we're going, but I will see you when we get there. So we have all decided that we are going to Walgreens next. Obviously we're on that chase hunt for any horror chase. I specifically would like Jason first. Um, I already have the Pennywise hit chase. Shout out to Cody Black. And then, um, yeah, I'm in a kind of a deal with Foxy right now to possibly get um, the Michael Myers chase. But we're about to walk in here. Cross your fingers for me right now. Drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. And let's go get a damn chase. So we are in the Halloween section. And yeah, see, look, I'm not even going to show you. It's not even looking that good. I don't see any of the shippers, the pallets, or whatever you call them, figure wise. Uh, if Captain Britain or Brit, whatever. Yeah, Captain Britain. Uh, I do need him, but I'm not going to pay 20 for him. And then Invisible Woman, Green Goblin, Jackal, another Captain Britain, UK Spidey. Spidey. Yeah. What, buddy? That is Spider Man, huh? Do you like him? What are these? Oh. What else? Nothing? Yeah. And these are. Okay, yeah. Okay, well. That's uh, that's that. Daddy, what, buddy? It's not working. I know it's not working because we haven't bought it yet. Come on, buddy. Parker. You want Maui? Yeah, and well, Mana. Show me where you got it from. Where'd you get it from? Um, 
You want one? Yeah. What do you say? Um, Pete. The Spider-Man car? Spider you get through them. Karina found these just chilling down here. They're supposed to be on sale. Okay, grab that trooper. Please. They're supposed to be 25% off. These are? Yeah, they should be. They don't have a camera. No. But I, I know all the other Walgreens have it, so. Okay. Hey, buddy. You want these? Hold on to them. Hold on to both. Yeah. Get it, dude. I got that. No, you can hold on to it. We're going to go see how much it is. You don't want them? No, I just put it back right there. So I think I'm going to go with this Stormtrooper. So that was a success. Got a Stormtrooper for $16 even. That's not bad. So we're actually going to go across the street to eat at Burger King because um, we're we're absolutely starving. And from there, I think we're going to go hit a local toy store. So I'll see you there. And we have made it to Time Warp Toys. I have been here before, but I haven't been here in a long time and recorded. So I'm excited to show you guys what they have. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we just got in to Time Warp. I know you guys have seen this before, but complete wall of figures. I'm going to start here slowly. I'm not going to film a whole lot because I don't want it to just be a majority of this store. But um, where to start? So I'll just start with the Star Wars stuff real quick. Very, very simple. Here's just more or less some Legacy Collection, Revenge of the Sith stuff, and the Power of the Force is mainly all this. I'm not going to bore you guys with all that. And then some of the Black Series, just the normals. And here we go with some Legends. And we have Bulldozer. I think these are pricey though. They're around 25-ish, I think. UK Spotties back there and Hawkman. We yeah, have Blizzard. Gamora. Mockingbird. Bucky. And Iron Fist. Red Guardian. Just a couple. I'm going to try to flip through this fast for you guys. Here's a Marvel Iron Man. Pretty cool. Electro. Namor. Daredevil Wasp. And here we keep going. There's a ton of legends to go through. Okay, getting done with the legends. I'm gonna bounce into some three and three quarter figures. Some of the Infinite series, and I don't even know what this series is. Some Pulp Fiction, Captain America. Looks like Iron Man. Wasp. This Hulk is pretty cool. Reminds me of Gladiator Hulk. And here we have some older Toy Biz, Fantastic Four stuff. A Cyclops. Mara and the Rhino, Amazing Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, Ghost Rider, and here's some Toy Biz, Daredevil, Bullseye, Scarlet Witch maybe, and no idea, Sentry. Here we have some movie figures and shout out to Brock, Code 3 Collector, here's some Lord of the Rings figures, I have zero idea who these are, we have trouble coming in here. You're scared of something out there? Yeah. The old Duke Nukem figure, that's hilarious. We have some turtles. Turtles. Newer. Turtles. See turtles, dude? Yeah. Yeah. And walking through here. We have Pinhead. Sin City something. There's uh, Dragon Ball figures. People are looking for them. Well, they're just starting to show up in Walgreens, I think. And for all the wrestling fans. Uh, yeah. This is... This is what they got. Old ECW stuff. And then like newer WWF. That's that has to be old. Then here we go, Rey Mysterio. That's pretty dope. Stone Cold. And yeah. I'm not gonna dig through these guys. Oh, Booker T, Rey Mysterio. Now huh. yeah, I didn't even know there's this much wrestling figures available. 
Okay, so we're not in Time Warp anymore, obviously, but I just want to show this real quick. Shout out to the homie Chris. He ended up hooking me up with this, like, spectacularly, if that's even if that's even a word. Now, normally, I'm super transparent with you guys, and I tell you pretty much all my prices, but on that one, I'm going to leave it alone because he hooked it up big time, so I don't want that to get out there. But Chris, if you're watching this dude, shout out to you. And also, I will put their link to their Facebook down in the description so all you local people can go hit it up and make sure you tell them that Josh sent you. Okay, so I have little man with me. Karina's is going to the bathroom, so I'm not gonna be able to film that well, but I will do my best. Who's this dude? McQueen. Who is it? McQueen. McQueen? Yeah, what? Oh, you like that one? What's this? What's her name? I think it's a boy and his name's Cruz. Isn't it Cruz? Cruz, yep. First name. Uh, Mantis. First name. Will. That's Cruz again. Let's go over here. There's Mana, yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Ouch. We got Bane, Jesus. And here we go. The piglet, buddy. We gotta stay over here, man. Girl, spy girl. There's a Bob Ross. And nothing, nothing, nothing. Well, then sit down, dude. Come right, Patty. Nothing, nothing, nope. You're gonna sit right there? Okay. He's probably not gonna sit right there. Um, what, buddy? No, you you hold your car. That's your car, not my car. Peter Parker, we got Valkyrie. Valkyrie, Thor. And... You got the Punisher. And... For real, if you guys have seen that trailer, I respect John Bernthal so much more after the Punisher trailer. Super excited for that to come. Okay, so okay. I've heard of people liking, what are these, SH figure arts, I think? Mm -hmm. And here is uh, Batman, bleh. and here is Batman the Dark Knight. And there's, is it two Raphaels and that's it? Mm -hmm. How much are they, 50? Mm -hmm. And this is 55. Looks really, really cool though. Well, we found the last Jedi Pops, and let's look through these damn porgs. Probably no chase. Nope. No chase, nothing cool. Mm -hmm. Mana, let's, let's go, dude. Just, I just saw like Oh. Here's some Harry Potter Peter, Pops. Peter, Peter, Peter. Yep. Some commons. We have some lightsabers, and that's it. So we are out of Barnes & Noble, absolutely nothing in there as you guys can tell. Parker is getting very, very, very grumpy, but I think we are going to Toys R Us next, so please cross your fingers for us that it goes good. Okay, so in Toys R Us, it looks like they have, wait, this says all DC. Okay, well that's false. I was just going to say, they have buy one get one 40 on their figures, but it's just DC. So, that kind of sucks, but this is just the big, oh, all freaking Batman. Okay, well this is just the beginning, so let's head back to the toy aisle. Well, Karina, <laughs> Karina decided to abandon me in the middle of the freaking aisle, so let's go find her. Oh, my eyes are freaking dry. It's like 95 degrees here in Ohio, and yesterday was supposedly the first day of fall, so I don't know. Super weird, but that was just a random, random fact for the day. I found them. She's already looking at Pops, so kudos to her. Um, okay, let's see, right here. I don't think anything. It'd be amazing to find a chase, but oh, there go my glasses. But I don't think. Usually, when Toys R Us opens, is the time to go if you're going to try and find a chase. These are six ninety eight. That'd be funny if there's a chase in here. Highly, highly doubt it. Oh shoot! No way. That's awesome. I don't, I'm not even gonna try to get them to honor that. That's too picky of me, but the box looks like it's in good condition though. Hell yes. Okay, so we're actually at the pop wall section, whatever you wanna call it. Um, Karina's already looked through here a little bit, but she didn't get to actually dig. I don't know if I'm going to yet. Wow, that was a bad angle. Um, but they do have another Kylo Ren. I really like this pop a lot. It looks like his capes, yeah, his capes blowing or whatever. Pretty cool. 
So Toys R Us, shout out to you for a cool pop. And there's a war. Isn't there a chase of this? No, there's not a chase of this one. I don't think. I know there's some Disney princess chase. Not for sure though. I think Karina's already going to look at figs. This hot. This is heavy. Okay. So. Doesn't look like any of this. Yeah. Oh man. I don't even know what to do, guys. I don't feel like digging, but I want to at the same time. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, while I'm here, I will look over the NECA selection. Okay, well, just kidding. There's not a whole lot. Uh, not a whole lot in here. <laughs> but these, I've been seeing people find these. I kind of like them, honestly. They're cool. But I will not be buying any more of those blind boxes. Angelica, <laughs> little Chucky. I'm down with anything Predator. There's Predators. Okay, so I think Karina went and looked at the figures, so let's go try to find her. So walking over here, and Karina found the A4 set. This is pretty sweet. I haven't seen it in person yet, but I like them. This is really cool. Well, there's your first purchase. <laughs> Uh, okay, so right off the rip we have Thor and okay, we got Groot, 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 okay, lots of Groot. And then we have some of the Netflix wave, still some of the Onslaught, Cottonmouth, Bullseye, Doctor Strange stuff. But that's, that's actually really cool for $120, yeah. I'm not that committed to it. And Star Wars, Death Trooper, Death Trooper. Nothing new, damn it. This Toys R Us really never has anything for newer stuff, Star Wars wise. Okay, walking up on some Power Rangers, still. Uh, okay, these are all the movie ones. I'm so glad that they didn't make the Metallic a Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, all of that. And walking on down. Two, DC, Damian Wayne, Wonder Woman, Damian Wayne, and Wonder Woman. Sorry, Kenny, nothing new here, homie. Okay, so cool. Uh, these old school, what are they, what's the freaking thing called? Playmates toys, yeah. Uh, Paul Hughes was talking to me about these, and he found them. I didn't know they were actually still in production, though. Oh, these are sweet. Got Michelangelo. Oh, touchdown Leonardo. This is freaking awesome. I wish they just had the, the normal ones. Wow. I really like this. And for the wrestling fans, I'm just going to show this from the front. I can't dig because I'm contemplating on buying these two. But I will at least show some footage on this. And then I'll get into the Transformer stuff for you guys. Pretty freaking awesome. Little Grimlock Sky Shadow. I wish I knew a little more about what the hell I was looking at. So I don't know. I can only tell from Cincy's videos because he, him, T Man. I know T Man's a big transform person, but I just get lost in all the different editions, all the waves, all the bots, and I don't know. So sorry guys for my lack of knowledge on this. So we just walked out of Toys R Us and we went to Five Below. I don't know if you can see that. We went to check it out, see if there's any of the Onslaught Wave. Um, Cause I'd like to get probably like two or three more Taskmasters. Um, a lot of people have hit me up saying they found the Demolition Man for me. So I appreciate every person that has helped me out with this. There's a Target and a mall near us, but it's already almost seven o'clock. So I think we're gonna head home for the day. I don't know if I'm going to end the video because I don't know if we're going to go out tomorrow at all. But either way, when I get home at some point, I will go over what I got with you guys. Okay guys, so it's Sunday morning and I was going to end the video last night. But I decided to wait because I knew I had a bunch of stuff to unbox from my PO stuff. So I wanted to show you guys that real quick just in case you didn't tune into the live stream to see it. Pretty much here's a little bit of the disaster that went on. Um, first I want to start off with these that somebody sent me. They're Hot Toys figures and these come from Greg Cook Photography. 
he actually has a YouTube channel so I will for sure link that in the description and hopefully throw it up somewhere on the screen but squad leader or scarab squad leader and then sand trooper super super dope um, I don't <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say like I was so hyped to get these so one thing that I need to do ASAP is get these into some frames and they will probably go somewhere up here I might take this down and put them I don't know somewhere I mean they're, they are 100% going up so Greg if you're watching this dude thank you so much for this now I'm not gonna lie I don't remember everybody's name off the rip on who sent me and who traded me what but Craig from not another retro channel traded me this Thor and this Ares and I hooked him up with a Palpatine black series so he also has a YouTube channel I'll throw it up here and I will link it down in the description below just in case you guys are unaware of who he is and what his channel is so Craig thank you homie for this I need to put Thor will be going right here eventually I gotta redo my shelves today or something and then I got this Luke pop in a trade once again sorry I forget names and then someone from Instagram um, got these two this box is a little dinged up but thankfully because I'm actually going to open him and then he sent me a freaking sealed R2-D2 Black Series. So I think his name is Josh, I believe. So shout out to you, dude. Thank you so much. And then I traded uh, three Star Wars figures for these guys. I uh, got Ares, Lady Thor, and Hela. So if, as you guys probably know, I am army building Ares. So I'm almost done. I think I need like one more. But then I'll be completely done with that. And speaking of army building, I got another Demolition Man to go up there. And I actually purchased a couple of these. So I'm going to end up having like 10, 10 of these guys. And on the live stream last night, I um, did a head sculpt. Oh, it's blurry as hell. Um, a, head, a head swap sculpt, whatever the hell you want to call it. And everybody on the stream enjoyed it. And they kind of saw why I wanted to do these. So that looks dope. And shout out to Legends Collector 1321 Once again, another YouTuber. So I'll put his link down in the description below. But he hooked it up with an Agent Venom. He saw that my shelf was missing him and he had an extra one. So hooked it up with that. I'm super excited. But the only problem is I have to find room. And last shout out to Cam the Collector for hooking it up with this Silver Surfer. He heard me say something that I wanted one or I don't know. But he randomly hooked it up with that. So link to his channel will be down in the description below. So seriously, thank you everyone for all the dope ass trades and for all the pay it forwards. So because I received some stuff yesterday as a pay it forward, I decided to do it in my live stream and I did four separate giveaways. Uh, I gave away a loose Moon Knight figure. I gave away a uh, Order 66 two pack, the Mace Windu and Galactic Marine. I gave away this loose uh, vintage collection Luke. And then I gave away the uh, Glow in the Dark Yoda Walgreens pop. And yeah, I don't know. I just, I decided to do it. It was fun. So probably the majority of my live streams are going to be, or the majority of my giveaways are going to be done through live streams just because those are the people there in the moment. And it was, it was just fun. We had like upwards of almost like 110, 120 people on there at a steady pace. So it was super fun. Once again, every Saturday I do live stream. And I'm going to start trying to go randomly one day through the week if I have time. So that's going to do it for the video guys. I'm going to cut this short. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, obviously leave a like on this video. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. Later this week, I will be getting more packages with the Demolition Man and stuff. So the following video should have an update on everything in my collection because it has changed. I have put some new stuff and taken some stuff out. So I'll give you guys an update on that. But I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you guys have a good week. I hope you are hunting and finding everything that you need or want. Thank you guys for all the support lately. Literally, it means the, I don't know. It just means the most to me. It means I can't even put it into words. Somehow we're close to 4,000 subscribers. So let's, let's share the videos. Anybody you think who would enjoy my videos, please send them that way. I'm going to be doing something super, super cool for the holiday season, I guess you could say. I'm actually starting to plan it out now. Don't forget this coming Saturday, Cincy and I are going to Kokomo. We will be live streaming from both of our channels, so I'll make sure to keep you guys in touch with that. Follow me on Instagram if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video. As always, guys, may the figs be with you.